in bed again as usual I see. <laughs> I thought it would be warmer where I was going. It's cold. Freezing cold and it never gets any better. <laughs> we haven't had snow like this in years. Now, son, you know what day it is tomorrow, don't you? No? I'll tell you. Tomorrow's a rare disease day. It's a very magical day. It's the day where Dr. Bastard comes to your house. If you've been good, he gives you the best gift of all, the gift of life. If you've been bad, he gives you the most monstrous diseases all over the globe. You know, no, son, if he you looks a lot like a chumba. Are you sure? Your stepfather, doesn't he? I remember <laughs> he drank his medicine when he was passed out. I don't see it. So, have you been good boy this year or not? I didn't think so. So you got to be really good, really good damage control. If you went up to bed now, went straight to sleep. Maybe, just maybe, Dr. Bastard won't come. I won't give you... Hutchinson Guilford Progeria! I don't like you, and you don't like me. Maxine. <laughs> you know, this is exactly why I killed your fucking ass. It's always excuses with you. You always resented me because I was the only one who ever pushed you to your maximum potential. Because I was the one who never let it go. I had disadvantages. What disadvantages? I had autism. And for a quarter century, it went undiagnosed. My leg's an edgy sitcom pitch, a retard mistakenly raised as a real boy. So don't fucking talk to me about potential, because you don't have to live like I did.
the uniform. Don't tell me you like it. Listen, it's good that you're doing better. I'll come see you in a bit. I just have a lot of stuff going on at the moment. No one's in the cold at the end of the pitch. Right, Pat, I'm going to work now.